Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, November 9th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Thursday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Four narrow days individually, a four day narrow range in total. You can see right here 29 and a half percent of average range right now on the four day developing range. The low is in at the moment, the high up here, and obviously just now getting into the early part of the day here so we might see quite a bit of difference here by the end of the day's range obviously but at the moment one of the most uh, narrow four-day ranges that that you'll see uh, one of the other times we had a super narrow four-day range was right here that was at the beginning of November and right in that zone here what you notice is after price rallies we got a super narrow four-day range price pulls back and was able to get a secondary move out of it uh, but after a big squeeze here, we got a little bit of a narrow range. This was an even bigger squeeze, super narrow four-day range. Coming up against uh, resistance here, that resistance at about 44.20 to 44.30 is going to be important. If we come into here and start to reject, we could fall back down within the range as this thing continues to trend downward. So this level is going to be very important for medium-term direction. If price can push through 44.30 with a transition, it opens up the upper portion of the previous range. So big time zone right here. Today on the economic calendar, we do have initial jobless claims coming up soon prior to the RTH Open and Fed Chair Powell speaks at 1 o'clock p.m. Central. All eyes on Fed Chair Powell later this afternoon. Taking a look here at the NQ now. What you'll see right here, very similar price action in that we have a narrow range the last couple of days. We did have one trending day a couple of days back uh, but for the most part after this huge squeeze last week this week's range has been more moderate that was the expectation as we mentioned heading into the week uh, and and we're also up against big time overhead resistance as well that 15.5 very important level still down trending for the most part or channeling here with a slight downward slope can this market make a move toward the previous quarter's high price or do we start to see price falter back within the recent range? So watching this area here, watching 15.5 for a test. Looking at crude oil, a little bit of a bounce back day for crude oil at the moment, up 1% right now. You'll notice here the previous couple of sessions with a downside break out of the narrow range. We talked about this five-day narrow range building energy, enough energy for a 6 to eight point breakout move we were looking for seven easily and from this high we got the seven point move and from the breakout high got very close to those lows the low here 74 and change uh, a little bit lower gets you the seven from the breakdown point so a big time continuation we have sliced through year-to-date VWAP and the 200 day moving average any pullback into that point could be seen as a selling opportunity as the bears extend the down move today currently a pullback day a little bit of a range bound um, pullback after this huge move that could certainly play out it could continue to play out in that way bears could also defend the morning strength for an inverted day down we'll see how it develops here but this fast dropping eight period average the uh, the year-to-date VWAP, which will provide resistance from above, that zone up up here could provide the next selling opportunity for a continuation lower. All right, looking at gold futures, right here, gold futures breaking down through the 1960 level. Tried to reverse and bounce off that level in the previous session, just couldn't do it. Breaking down through that zone, you're now seeing a three-point reversal from the highs. You're seeing a breakdown of 1960 at the moment. Not the biggest breakdown, but failure at 1960 starts to open up 1920 and 1900 down below. So uh, overall, quite a bit of weakness here from the failed new high downward, breaking through lows like crude oil. Any pullback here could be seen as a selling opportunity as bears look to extend this, uh, this move to the downside toward 1920 and 1900. So again, any pullback toward 1960 or just above, watching to see how bears respond any trap there could lead to a continuation downward until proven otherwise lastly looking at the ym ym right now narrow range 139 points of range look at that four day narrow range 
29% of average range even. 284 points of range usually averaging closer to 950. That is significantly tiny and at some point here we'll get a big breakout move. If so, looking at about 1100 points of movement out of this compression. So north of a thousand points on a four day range basis once we're ready to break out. Do we break out today? Maybe perhaps later on this afternoon on Fed Chair Powell comments. Do we do it next week and just wait to finish a, a narrow week on a Friday and break out next week? So at some point here we will be looking for expansion from this compression. Until then look to avoid the chop at the center of the range, fade the edges, and await expansion. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.